Hello, guys. Here outside on a beautiful, pretty warm late October day. Thank you, Southern California. <laughs> Shooting the amazing Venus sky hey as guys. my next bombshell of the month. <laughs> so we decided to go for a really super girly, pink kind of Paris Hilton vibe here. We even have the adorable dog in for just some of the intro shots. Um, we will be taking the dog out. Um, after the first couple of pictures, but I thought just for the beginning it would be really cute. This is actually Nina's dog. <laughs> this is and actually my apparently dog. Apparently she has her own Instagram too, right? Yes, it's what? City Girl Molly. <laughs> so follow City Girl Molly if you guys want to see more <laughs> cute pictures of this amazing dog um, who really does deserve her own Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> She's a little model. So as you can see, we've got tons of pink going on. My friend Jules let me borrow her pink bug, which is so, so cute. So for this lighting wise, I really want to do something bright and even. So if you look behind you, we have my favorite shoot through white Westcott umbrella. Um, if you guys have watched my other BTS videos, you know that I use these all the time. They're my favorite kind of mini soft box options. We also have a large white Reflector Ultra, what was that, ultra Sean? Bounce. Ultra Bounce. <laughs> it's Sean back there. If you want to know more about Sean, watch my podcast with Casey Calvert. We talk about Sean for like 20 minutes because he's amazing. Um, anyways, so we have this large white reflector. This is really more so for video because obviously strobes will not work for video. We can only work with continuous lights. And outside in the bright sun, you are not going to get a continuous light that is going to fight the sun unless you want to spend thousands and thousands of dollars getting like a 4K or like a 10K light, which is like something that we are not prepared for. So for stills, we are lighting her with this umbrella, as I mentioned before. Um, we also want to give a little bit of light inside the car because it gets quite dark in here. So we actually hid a strobe just here behind the seat. You can see that there. And that will light up the inside of the car so it just doesn't go black. I'm always looking for I'm always looking to fill black holes, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and then also because we had to keep the ambient light pretty low key, we're at an F8 at ISO 100 just to work with the strong sunlight on her back. Um, that means that anything in shade is going to go a bit dark, which is why we have this strobe over here with an open head. You can just see that we don't have a grid on here. Um, and that is just hitting this uh, area right here, brightening it up a little bit. And we also have that silver reflector over here, which is lighting up the side of this shed. So this is actually spotlit right on there. And you can see if you look there, see how I'm shaking it? That's hitting that. Uh, these big shiny boards are very bulky, difficult to pack, and expensive, but if you're doing a lot of outdoor shootings, they're great. Um, I'd recommend renting them rather than buying them. And uh, that's pretty much it for our lighting setup. Very excited. I think this is going to be adorable. Um, Vina, are you ready to be like the cutest you can be? I'm so excited. I feel like you're channeling a part of my personality that's never been <laughs> shot. So definitely the girlier side. We're, you're getting to know like another side of Venus Sky in this shoot, so um, I'm really excited. Let's uh, let's get started. It's gonna be really cool. I just learned a lot too. <laughs>
What is your advice on how to please a woman in bed? Hmm. Um, some really good advice I think that I would have to pleasing someone in bed, specifically a woman, would be to just take your time. I feel like a lot of times, whether it's a girl or a guy, I think a lot of people rush things. I love foreplay personally so I think that sets the mood and kind of specifically for women we're not just like I love to just fuck also but I think it's nice when you can initiate like more sensual and um more like yeah sensual and like more of a thrill of getting before getting into like the more explicit stuff so I think just taking your time and I love like kissing I love teasing I love all that good stuff before jumping into the other stuff super fast so yeah so Vina what is your preferred penis size and why (laughs) um my preferred penis size (laughs) would definitely have to be Like, I like big dicks, but if it's, like, an everyday, like, dick, or, like, I like to call it boyfriend dick, then I don't want it to be too big, but not too small. So, just, like, an average guy. But for porn, I like to, like, challenge myself and do fun, naughtier things. Um, So, I definitely think, like, the bigger the better. But in my personal life, like every single day, more like a boyfriend, dick, so I'm more average. Like here, the sun was uplighting you a little bit, so I came down a little so that it wasn't like kind of uplighting your nose. And then that there was just too much tree growing out of you, so I came up and got more rock. But look at that! Look how long your leg looks there. I love that one. So beautiful. Very successful day. Yeah, successful photography day. (laughs) So, which look was your favorite? That's a little hard. I feel like both were like a part of my personality mm-hmm. um i don't know that's really hard yeah i know because <laughs> like sunset golden hour is like my favorite time to shoot but glam girly like barbie kind of is like a part of a big part of my personality like yeah. i always try to glam things out on set yeah. and like even my style so. right yeah so I we were know, able to like hard. It's like multifaceted. We were able to hit all the different parts of your personality. Thank you so much for a great day. It's like it's so much fun. Thank you for having me. Of course. Of course. You're so talented. I knew it was going to be amazing. (laughs) I love love when people say good things about you. I know. I love it too. (laughs) She also smells really good. Is that creepy? (laughs) No. No, my mom doesn't say nice things about me. I definitely, about people. It's definitely not for sure. It's definitely my own. That's my own thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay.